Hey everybody, this is Chris from Crypto Wolf Pup. So today we're actually going to be going over the white paper for Bigfoot. Uh, if you saw my video before on it, you do know why I like it. I'm not going to go into that again because I don't want this intro to take forever. So uh, let's just go take a look at this white paper. And um, still, hit me up if you want to search for the real Bigfoot. Let's take a look at the white paper. Um, so it is a very nice white paper, give them that and the credit, or I give them credit for that. And it looks very nice, but let's let go over this, shall we? So what is Bigfoot Finance? Bigfoot Finance begins a node-based project that seeks to develop a multi-chain NFT marketplace. Okay, so I do like that it's developing a multi-chain NFT marketplace. It's always nice to have multi-chains. Um, I know a lot of the general NFT markets are multi-chain, so it's nothing new, but it is always nice to have, especially when you have projects that do marketplaces and it's generally just their stuff, let alone just their chain. This is covering more than one chain, so that's nice. I like that a lot. Uh, by utilizing a multi-network platform, Bigfoot will create a large-scale network across multiple blockchains where users will be able to buy and sell NFTs. Um, do like that. Uh, I mean, you could sell NFTs on other marketplaces, obviously. And uh, with other projects, you could sell their NFTs that you have or maybe only their special ones. But it's, uh, it's nice this is an actual project creating something you could sell NFTs on. I guess we'll see if you could sell your own made NFTs. Uh, I've actually been dabbling in that myself. Let's see, um, rather than an airdrop to the rewards to the to reward open sea users, uh, Bigfoot Finance will offer nodes upon inception to benefit anyone who participates rather than just whales and users with high trading volumes at open sea. Um, I mean the airdrops open sea is not really a big issue for me. Uh, so I'm like I said, I just really started in NFTs. So there may be some something good there that I'm just not seeing. If there is something good there with uh, them not doing the airdrops to open sea, uh, let me know in the comments because I would I I always love to learn more stuff. Um, Bigfoot Finance will be will begin on the Ethereum network. I'm not a huge fan of the Ethereum network, and I know a lot of people aren't. Uh, but this is only initial before expanding to additional blockchains. So that's good. They are looking to do more blockchains. But we saw that before. There are three ways to participate in Bigfoot Finance. You can acquire a node, which yields BGFT tokens each day. Okay. Um, you we're starting to see a lot of that. Uh, NFTs yielding returns. So you can buy and sell NFTs on the Bigfoot multi-chain marketplace. Uh, they didn't specify Bigfoot only, so maybe that means you could sell your own, which honestly, I may do if I get good enough that I think I could sell some of them, or maybe just take really good pictures or something. I don't know. Uh, you can stake your BGFT tokens to receive additional reward turn returns from the token. Okay. Uh, so... You can, you can get a Bigfoot node, take your rewards, and then stake them. That's that's a nice multi-chain approach. It's, a, it's kind of similar to the Tomb Forks in a way. But you don't have to deal with LPs. So I, I do like that. Uh, you know, roll out in two main phases. Phase one, Bigfoot nodes will be available on launch day. These nodes will be sold at a at a price tiering system, which 100 nodes will increase by $100 paid in USDC. Um, Bigfoot nodes are designed to provide variable, sustainable, and fair daily yield. We are not and will not ever be a high yield protocol. Daily ROI will feel fair and reasonable. It's variable based on the growth of the protocol itself. So I do like that it is actually not saying you're going to get this much. It's nice that it is going to be uh, variable, sustainable, and fair. And yes, those are words in a white paper, 
but knowing the team behind it and knowing how well Polar is doing. By the way, there is a Polar giveaway every week this month until the 20th, which is they're all going to be Fuji's and then Mont Blanc also on the 20th. So definitely keep an eye out for that in my Twitter. The uh, So the staking protocol of the BFGT token will be live immediately. That's nice. We don't have to wait for staking to kick in, which could take months. Uh, staking provides additional utility for our tokens while providing APY to those participating in staking of BGFT. So uh, phase one, it's pricey. I think like the pre-sale, they had a pre-sale of whitelist when it first started that I missed out on, unfortunately. Um, they kept, I had people telling me, you should look at this. You can look at this. You should look at this. And I, I delayed because uh, I have a lot on my plate. Um, I kind of wish I didn't delay this one because right now when the DAP launches, they're going to be $300 per NFT, which is fairly a fairly high amount um so it may not be great for a beginner uh, unless you're a beginner with a lot of money um especially if you don't really know the team uh so go into their discord and talk to them go to um hopefully they have amas hopefully i'll have an interview with one of them soon I hope. Um, so staking protocol oh, went over that. So we're in phase two now. NFT marketplace will be implemented as an expansion to the Bigfoot Finance Protocol. This will give true business model and revenue stream through the node very quickly. So it's nice uh, to have that marketplace utility, and it's nice that the marketplace does allow other sales not just their NFTs from what I'm understanding so far. So it's definitely going to help bring in. And if you watched any of my node videos, you know sustainability is key and how to get sustainability. One of the ways is having either a good treasury or very good utilities. I believe this could be a very good utility if a lot of people take advantage to using this marketplace which I probably will if I end up selling any, any, any NFTs. Um, while most of the other node projects rely on Ponzi economics, which is very true, there's either a little Ponzi or they are Ponzi's. Um, if you come across a node that's not Ponzi at all, let me know. I will gladly, gladly take a look at that. Uh, this could be for months or indefinitely until they burn out. Our protocol will be 100% off Ponzi economics. Well, look at that. I'm actually reviewing one now. Um, a theory as soon as the NFT marketplace is implemented. So that's nice. I, um, I, I guess we'll move on. Um, there's something in the Discord that I don't remember seeing in a white paper when I did it when my allergies were kicking in that I probably should have, but it is in the uh, the first video I did for them. But we'll definitely revisit that because it's important. Uh, once the NFT marketplace goes live, it will produce revenue stream that will pay out node holders and various tokens, thus preventing runaway emission problems that we've seen in other classic node protocols. So instead of getting the BGFT payouts, they're looking to do various different tokens, which in return could really, really relieve the sale pressure. Uh, and if you notice, a lot of nodes are just the last month just been bad. Um, and hopefully, hopefully something changes. Uh, why big for finance? Did you miss out? Like, did you miss out on projects like on the likes of Gala Games, for which each node costs over a hundred thousand dollars. If anybody buys a Gala node, can you please? spot me like five thousand dollars because i mean if you're paying a hundred thousand dollars for a node you might have it <laughs> just kidding but um let's see i wouldn't mind taking a donation of a gala games now and uh bigfoot finance is your answer to the next big thing in the nft marketplace by primarily focusing on in-depth tokenomics in order to maximize the growth potential of the protocol itself 
Bigfoot Finance has been developed, or has developed an NFT marketplace that began on Ethereum before moving to multiple. Um, the Bigfoot Marketplace and Bigfoot Notes are only started. Bigfoot Finance will continue to grow and develop into a multi purpose business model with a 10 year. I do like 10 year, that they have a 10 year plan. Uh, place of continuous development. We will pave the way to develop large scale NFT marketplaces directly connected and associated with self sufficient node protocols that will continue to generate daily yields, continue innovation and adaption to the crypto space. Um, it's a lot there. A lot of it was repeated, but the 10 year plan I like a lot. I don't know any projects that actually have a 10 year plan, just they're trying to do what they can to sustain. I mean, I know of projects that locked out liquidity for 13 years or 10 years, but actually having a plan in place, I'm yet to see. A detailed one, anyway. Um, what are Bigfoot notes? Bigfoot notes can be purchased at USDC. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I personally don't see a benefit to USDC over other ones. They do say it lowers gas fees sometimes. I have heard that. I do not know if that's factual or not. Um, your price of Bigfoot nodes will be relative to USDC example, $100 per node as 100 USDC. Well, this, if you don't know, USDC is staked to the US, or pit, sorry, USDC is uh, pegged to the US dollar. So in general, whatever the US dollar is, that's going to be a USDC. It may alter by like a penny or two, but it'll usually bounce back. And will increase similar to Gala Games. I don't know Gala Games, so um, I think that I'm I, I'm too early in the game to really have looked at Gala Games. Um, more info about this found in tokenomics below. Uh, once you purchase a Bigfoot node, you, you'll get daily distribution of a base yield of BGFT. It benefits investors to be early as they pay less for node even larger amount of bgft over time uh earn a larger amount as more nodes are sold they will become increasingly expensive uh so yeah it um it, it is pricey but if you can afford it it may be something you really do want to take a look at once again i'm not going to say buy or don't buy i never will i just want to give you the information so you can properly make your decision and this maybe something to look at because uh it, it's they are right about that once i find my place they are very much right about that um, that because once you have the nft that's going to be your your node and it doesn't appear that the yield is going to increase your BGFT yield is not going to increase as of right now from what it looks like, but every hundred sold, it's a hundred dollars more. So, so yeah, um, if you do, it may be something you want to look into getting an early on. After the marketplace, am I on this part, right? Yeah. After the marketplace goes live, node holders, uh, will be paid in various tokens to generate the mark generated from the marketplace itself. This will prevent runaway inflation that allows us to effectively generate a distributed system for at least 10 years. At this point, nodes will begin to pay a token in BF. Or at, at this point, nodes will begin to pay tokens other than BGFT. I'll formally move in on protocol off Ponzi economics and it's driven so many to the ground. So essentially it's like you're buying stake into this uh, marketplace and you're going to get returns on that or so it's like um yeah that's probably the best way i could think about how that is uh effectively the bigfoot nodes are being utilized to generate bgft token and the, and the treasury in order to effectively produce and manage bigfoot marketplace and additional business models to provide better product to the community. Uh, our, once our NFT marketplace is developed, we'll be fully moved off Ponzi economic theories and sustainable daily and given, sustainable from the daily given, yield given, um, 
from the revenue in the marketplace. So uh, this section, let's see. One, first, I need to learn how to read better. And number two, I do apologize. I messed up a little bit, actually a few times in there. Um, breakdown on this, it's a node. It's going to be a node until the marketplace gets running. When the marketplace starts bringing in money, that node is going to turn from a node that runs off of Ponzi economics to a node that's going to be essentially staked to get a return for the, for uh, for putting money into the program to bring up the marketplace. So essentially, it's a stake. It's not so much of an ownership like stocks. Uh, or or like you stakes like you would think, but it's essentially like that. You just don't have ownership over the marketplace in any capacity. Uh, it's kind of like a bank loan, I guess, in a way, but bank loans, I guess, own your house till you pay it off. Uh, I don't know. Take what you will from it. If you have any questions, let me know or join the Discord. Uh, Bigfoot Marketplace, the Bigfoot Marketplace will revolutionary. Big the Bigfoot Marketplace will be revolutionary for the NFT and DeFi community. Uh, by ultimately utilizing multiple networks, Bigfoot will be one of one stop shop for all your NFT buying and selling needs. We will begin to cater PFP. So I'm not sure what PFP is. Uh, focus NFTs, uh, board eight for a new example. Uh, buyers and sellers on Ethereum before expanding to DeFi focused users such as node investors or Avalanche or over or other over expanding DeFi blockchains, which will become increasingly popular with NFT projects. Um, I guess because I don't know what PFP means, I really can't get much from this other than they're first focusing on Ethereum and slowly building two other blockchains. Uh, Bigfoot will come. Bigfoot will compete with strong advantage over the NFT marketplace by offering real incentives via our node protocol with the with the platform listed or with the platform itself. Our models of sustainability and revenue sharing will be the primary reason for these large larger NFT holders will elect the user protocol. Uh, not a whale, so I personally don't know if it would sway a whale. But I think incentives of the node protocol and the platform itself. Um, so it does mention something about a possible listing reward in their Discord. I don't know if it's in here. And maybe what they're talking about. Uh, I mean, it says revenue sharing, so but this is for NFT holders. I guess, unless they're maybe talking about their specific NFTs and not the non-Bigfoot uh, NFTs that will be sold. Sorry, I'm reading over again. Uh, Bigfoot will. I think they're, they, I don't know. Unless there's some sort of benefit to holding any of your nodes on the marketplace. I'm going to have to probably get that one cleared up a little bit. I'll hopefully get an interview and I can, or at least at the very least, they have an AMA and I attend. I see if I could bring that up and get an answer for you. Um, now, once again, I'm not the greatest at NFTs yet, uh, knowledge wise, doing them, whatever. So if you understand that, let me know in the comments. Pre sale information uh, pre sale is ongoing. And it's going to be ongoing until the app launches, which I don't have a date yet, to my knowledge. Uh, you, so you join the Discord, you invite two friends. It's actually three friends. Um, somebody did bring this up in the Discord. It is three. Uh, open an OTC ticket, wait for the app launch. Congratulations if you 
follow the above, you're now officially whitelisted. Uh, I believe they did something with boosting the server recently too, but I'm not 100% sure what the requirements are, if it's just one boost or if you have to boost and get invites. So if you're interested, it may be worth checking their Discord. Uh, all whitelist individuals who have access to the DAP and can freely mint and nodes at the price of an adjusted tier. All node purchases will be done in USDC. Each 100 nodes will increase by $100. They mentioned that quite a bit, so went over it already a few times. Um, once again, they're at the 201 to 300 range, I believe, currently, so they're $300. Uh, nodes purchased in the pre sale will not generate rewards until the protocol officially goes live for all. By participating in the pre sale, you're minting your nodes as an NFT at a cheaper price. So you buy a node, you're not going to get immediate returns, got to wait till it actually launches. Um, no date has been announced to my knowledge. How do I start? You read the white paper, which we're doing now, but definitely look it over yourself too, because I definitely am messing up a lot of words tonight and I'm not fully understanding everything, but please, if there's something I came across, I said, I didn't understand and you get it, you know what it means. Let me know in the comments. Um, if any questions, check the discord or Twitter. Uh, follow the link up sushi swap purchase usdc and transfer to your metamask um, i am going to be doing videos on basic stuff for crypto i don't know how far it's going to take for me to get to the point of using swaps yet and so it may be out um prior the app may be out prior um enter the dap here so purchase uh, Bigfoot nodes. Um, your price depends on how many nodes are sold and begin accumulating rewards. So uh, I I do hope I can get it out prior to the app, but I just, I really don't know because I do a lot of videos. I'm not a one video a week person. I'm not even in a, so. <laughs> um, token economics of Bigfoot. 50 billion total max over 10 years on Ethereum. I just don't like the Ethereum part, um, even the coins being Ethereum. Uh, nodes will be sold for $100 US, USD, uh, equivalent to USDC for 100. It's pricing of the nodes again. Um, there will only be 50,000 nodes ever, so it's capped. It's nice to see a capped node project. Um, or, yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's rough if you miss out on it, but for the people who get it, it is nice, especially if they do say sustainable, because it could do a, uh, it could bring up the price of them if you do decide to sell it off, but I mean, my videos are, gen are generally aimed at passive income, so I probably wouldn't unless I needed quick money fast and they were in high demand. Um, node price will, we already went over the node price like five times. Uh, there will be 50,000 nodes ever. It looks like they accidentally repeated some stuff. So I guess we'll skip over that part. Uh, price increase. Uh, if you want to see, it's right there, but we went over this so many times. Uh, they really want you to know the price, which is good that they're not trying to like pull the wool over your eyes. Uh, let's see. Use of funds. Node sales will be the primary revenue generator for the NFT marketplace until the NFT marketplace is launched. Uh, early on the protocol, we will prov uh, we will put substantial portion of the revenue generated into the liquidity pool in order to maintain and grow the protocol. Over time, we'll move to, over time, we'll move to distribute the total funds effectively, incentivize the ownership of the nodes, utilize a marketplace, encourage staking of the BGFT token, develop expansion and other investments. So it's, very nice that they uh, 
that they're working on a, a treasury of some sort. Don't know if they actually mentioned anything in there. Sorry, my mouse is being weird. Okay, here we go. We'll, uh, we'll prioritize, prioritize the community investors and stability and growth of the protocol overall else. I do trust that because the team behind this is probably some of the people I trust the most in crypto current right now um, from the interactions I had with them. Uh, and uh, yeah, honestly, until I create one, and if I ever do create one, I don't know if I would trust anyone more than this team. But that's, once again, my opinion through my experiences. You need to make up your own uh, to see if this is something that you want to do and if it's people you trust. To keep in mind, they are... The, the main two people are from the Polar team, so uh, keep that in mind if you know about Polar. If you don't, maybe one that you might want to look into. Uh, um, just so you know, if you do, I do have a Polar code. Uh, it's WolfPup with a capital W. It does help the community wallet as well, so please use that if you end up getting Polar. The distribution of the team will be minimal as we grow our protocol, as I believe in building the business starts with hard work and true growth. At the end of the day, the investors in the protocol are priority as always. Um, once again, it's words on paper. Once again, I do trust who's writing these words. Once again, you may not know them or know of them. So base it on your on your experience and your situation. Uh, nodes, 50,000 nodes, 5 billion BFGT per year. The daily yield distribute will be variable based on the average node price as early node protocols. Variable based on the average node price. So what they're mentioning before, I didn't realize the distribution is actually based off of the node price and once they reach like a thousand they can reach a thousand dollars a node might be able to reach out pretty easily hmm. okay. as early node protocols based on ponzi economic theory we will take advantage or we'll take the average price of the nodes, assess them how much in USDC, inject that into the liquidity liquidity pool, distribute the maximum possible to investors. You will be paid values assessed in USDC into the account price vary uh, variabilities in the native token. I do actually like that. It's not like most notes where you buy it and then I mean, no price goes down or no price goes up. You're getting the same amount of tokens. This seems like that. Unless it's going to fluctuate. It, actually, it might just fluctuate in the token value instead of changing the amount of tokens. Um, So they may be talking U.S. dollar and not actually the uh, the token. Um, if it's based off of U.S. dollar, getting in early would be very good. Um, and it's I think it, I don't know. Uh, we'll take the average present nodes assess how much in USD. Okay, so it's going to be US dollar. They're going to inject that into the liquidity pool. So if they have 200 sold like they do now, looks like they're injecting 150 uh, per node or per node into the liquidity pool to and then distribute the max amount. If I'm doing that, I'm thinking that right.
I believe so. Okay. Um, but still, it it does. Uh, it's a, honestly it sounds like a normal node at this point, but the prices are increasing, and that's gonna the the prices are increasing for each node after every hundred sold. So that is going to increase the liquidity. So yeah, it looks like every, it looks like it's going to be like every, um, every series of hundreds that are sold, the price goes up, it'll bring up liquidity value, which would bring up the value of what you're getting back, opposed to just seeing what the sell pressure or the buy pressure is going to indicate, like normal notes. So do like that because it's USD. It's not like you're buying 10 vapor or not like you're buying a thousand vapor, making a node and getting 2% of vapor, but it's been going down. It's based off US dollar, not vapor or US dollar or the, not the coin, it's not the coin itself. So it's nicer assessing the value of the node in USD to figure out your yield. If I got that correct, um, please correct me if I'm wrong or if you're reading something else into it. Uh, we will not never be we will never be a node project with high daily yields uh, by maintaining reasonable or a daily ROI. We are committing a long term business model. Your daily rewards variables will be realistic. The ROI percentage is not fixed number, but obtaining ROI monthly is reasonably expected. The implementation of the NFT marketplace further expands the direct benefits of, to the node holders. 10 year business model and day one model from day one will provide the most realistic chance of a high sustainable reward system. Uh, it's nice that they're not telling you a number and that they're not claiming they're going to be the highest. So many people claim they're going to be the highest. And I mean, there's a few that survive and that's really high for the rebase ones, but nodes, I mean, I could think of numerous examples that had lower their uh, their returns. Staking, staking the BGFT will allow holders to get additional APY. This will allow our token to have additional utility and keeping the missions under control long term. Uh, we are not a quick burn project. We will continue uh, constantly manage a protocol aspect in order to maintain the price action um, stability and growth. Uh, so. It's nice and staking immediately. If you want to reinvest and try to get some more out of it, you could take what you get and then throw it into a staking pool to get a yield on your yield from your node NFT. So it's again, it kind of reminds me of like Grape Finance or EMP without needing to use LPs. So I do like that. Um, and it actually may be something really good to get your hands on if you're looking to eventually get into there because those projects are extremely complicated. Uh, nice that they're not quick burn because um, I don't know if burning really affects. Look at shit burn 50% and it's not anywhere. Well, close to 50%. I think it's like 41%. And it's not anywhere where people thought it would going to be. Security. Security is the most important aspect of protocol. Investors are putting their hard-earned money and valuable time in the hands of a few with hopes that, that their practices are ethical, intelligent, and forward-thinking. Under Bigfoot, we here at the community. You're here for the community and to build a business that offers true benefit in the crypto space. Uh, being ever transparent, maintaining high levels of communication uh, is always taken into consideration. All possible variables upon decision making will ensure security and trust in the protocols always. Um, once again, this is really do you trust them? I personally do because of my experiences, but don't take my word for it. Find out for yourself, talk to these guys, or look at them. All right. 
uh, like their Twitter, uh, Discord, stuff like that. Ship Lord, Neil, stocks from day one. Oh, many of you know him from other settings, Polar. I'm here for the community and will be hosting AMAs and continue to work the development side at creating this bit uh, with creating the business and also giving the community as much time as possible. The treasury is currently under a multi sig from day one. Um, would like to know the number of multi sig, uh, what the required is, and the maximum. Uh, KYC is not always effective for true security. Just look at Exodus, if um, if you for a recent example, what happened uh, happened there, sure. Uh, they will implement as quickly and reasonably as possible. This is dependent on the KYC platform, the cost of the platform. A shipboard is already docked, and um, yeah, that's on his uh, on the Discord. He has a picture of himself. Now will be prioritized by the demand of the community. The cost will be present to the community. Um, KYC is really. <laughs> Really not looking too good right now for it being a security aspect, but I mean, it is it is helpful, but I don't think it's it's what it could be. Uh, remember, there's nothing that's going to completely stop an, uh, a project from rugging. Um, now I'm not saying that they're going to rug. I'm not saying they're not going to. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I can tell you what I think and uh, what I think shouldn't matter because you need to figure this out for yourself. But uh, I personally don't think so. Not financial advice. Do your own research. Find out for yourself. Um, contract audits are important. Are also important for the contract to be properly audited. It's, Unicorn, if that wasn't a scam from the start, look at Unicorn, if what they said happened, happened. Um, not saying it did, not saying it didn't. Contract audits are also important for the contract to be properly audited. It's not able to be changed. It requires a new audit. We will conduct an audit contract, uh, well, an audit of the contract or contract audit, whatever, um, when it's most feasible and appropriate for the protocol. I mean, they're not even launched yet, so they're probably making changes. So I'm not too upset that they don't have an audit yet because I'm sure there's some stuff to need to be changed, some bugs that need to be fixed because no coder is perfect. And if they are, well, um, I get rich, I want you on my dev team. Roadmap. Uh, quarter two, Bigfoot node launch, it's, uh, April, May. So it's 200 are sold. The rest are coming soon. Um, listing on Sushi Swap, the DEX. Uh, explore potential partnerships, launch initial marketing campaign, uh, launch Bigfoot Marketplace, uh, staking of the BGFT token, expand community team. Hey, uh, hey ship lord, I may be free. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do like being a, uh, a, a, a positive and negative, but if, if a project that I do like does offer me something to work with them, I may take it. Um, I guess it depends on my situation at the time. Uh, but I will never stop giving you good and bad, even if it's a project I'm working on. Uh, and yes, if you want, I'll even do a quick review of my community wallet to show you maybe not everything is positive, but I am trying my hardest. Uh, if you don't know about it, check the link above. Uh, Q3, launch DeFi uh, blockchain capabilities, additional LPs. Mm, kind of curious what LPs are looking at and if it's gonna be for more treasury aspect or for um, their token, or maybe expansion. Uh, 
begin planning and developing a blockchain for larger scale functionality. Uh, Q4, expand, explore expanding into uh, CEXs, central uh, exchanges. So, um, Metaverse integration. I wonder what that's all about. Explore possible additional Web3 business models such as games, str streaming, podcasts, music, and other creative content. Um, sorry for my pause. I'm still in shock to see that, even though I knew it was coming up, because it's just weird to me that they're going to look into streaming and podcasts. By the way, you should definitely check out my new podcast. Um, next episode will actually be coming out on the 29th, or sorry, not the 29th. We're recording on the 29th, which is today. Should be coming out on Sunday, the 1st. So I am really curious. So it's new with music and other create, uh, content or creative content. So I'm very curious what they're looking at. And um, I mean, I'd be more than willing to put some stuff out there if you need testers or content, uh, Shiblord and Fry. Uh, just putting it out there and scale the team to produce and develop Bigfoot financial efficiency. Okay. Um, interesting looking. Uh, so far, I do like that roadmap. Definitely one I haven't seen before. Well, I mean, plans wise with the whole content thing. What makes it different? The FAQ. What makes Bigfoot different? Bigfoot Marketplace seeks to allow NFTs to be listed and traded on multiple blockchains by switching your network, by exposing our marketplace to investors to multiple blockchains, potential visibility, marketing. Limit. Um, what makes Bigfoot different? Bigfoot Marketplace seeks to allow NFTs to be listed and traded on multiple blockchains simply by switching your network, by exposing our marketplace to investors to multiple blockchains. Potential for visibility and marketing is limitless. We directly attach to the node pro uh, protocol and allow for the cross incentives for those who utilize our node protocol and our NFT marketplace, we are running a true business model and enter day one realistic 10 day plan. Okay, so once again, I'm talking about a 10 day plan, which I love. I love there is an actual 10 day or sorry, 10 year, 10 year plan. If it was a 10 day plan, I'd say avoid this at all costs. And I normally don't say avoid or buy in, but if 10 day plan, I'd say, yeah, don't don't um but as for the visibility and marketing being limitless due to the multiple blockchains i do agree because and i'm guilty of this not for nfts but projects there were certain chains i like certain chains i don't um i'm not as bad as i know some people may be it's not like I won't buy a coin because it's on the chain, but it is something I consider. There may be people who only deal with certain chains. I don't know. Um, what makes Bigfoot nodes different from Strong Thor and others? Classic node protocols are effectively pro uh, using Ponzi economics theory. Continuing, looks like we went over most of this already. Um, I'm just going to read silently and break it down for you real quick. These bills only rely on the purchase of orders to, to pay for its investments. Big for notes also start the same time of build paying out. Yeah. So we went over this. They're going to be Ponzi economics, but they're going to move from that when the marketplace comes out. Um, let's see. We'll stop distributing rewards in PGF team. And they're going to distribute in various tokens. So those are two things I really like. Um, one, of course, Ponzi's are not good. That's why you don't see them on infomercials anymore. If they ever were on infomercials, I'm not that old, guys. Um, but the, uh, the moving away from that and going to 
essentially um, getting the money for the marketplace and getting that money in coins other than their native protocol will definitely help with coin price because when coins are released, people normally want to, if they don't reinvest it, you don't really want to sell it or reinvest it somewhere else, which means they're trading their coin for generally a chain coin or maybe something else on the chain. And um, cause the sell pressure, which will help bring the coin down. So, do like that a lot. Do I need to purchase a node to use a Bigfoot marketplace? No, nope. purchasing nodes offer many benefits to investors in form of daily yield and being compensated for your node, but you can always purchase BGFT on Sushi Swap in a free marketplace. So, any node will be a way to provide you long term sustainability and effective passive income. And can uh, further bolster the NFT marketplace and staking and the staking of the token. So it's good to buy a node, but you don't need to buy a node if 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 you want to get into the project. Your decision. Uh, I do like it. Um, let's skip a page. No. Links. Um, so if it's on Ethereum and on Sushi Swap, I'm kind of curious why the Trader Joe link is there. But marketing doc. Let's we'll see what else we can go over. Oh man, are we done? May have been done. I guess we could take a quick look at the DAP, but we'll go over DAP further in detail. Who created it? Chipboard, Green Yeti, and Frey. Um, I guess we can run through this real quick. Chipboard has been involved in DeFi and crypto for several years and been community manager for other DeFi projects. He has had successful business outside of crypto and specializes in PR and marketing. Uh, Shiplord, ed Shiplord's education is in economics with real world experience, both public relations, financing, and advising. In his free time, Shiplord enjoys traveling, hiking, spending time with his family and dogs. I do like that he has dogs. That is a plus in my book. Um, it may not be for yours, but it is for mine. Um, maybe not something you want to base owning, like giving them money for a token for, but it's still a plus for me and helping the community. That is two. Uh, Shiplord is docs. His name is Neil. He lives in Texas. Okay. Now, Green Yeti is a lifelong student in classical mathematics and economics. He focused on token economics, design, and DeFi structure. Beyond spending extensive time on the token economics for his project and others, Green Yeti has successfully uh, uh, has a successful crypto project business crypto business and seeks to expand into the NFT marketplace. Green Yeti seeks to be innovative, uh, seeks to use innovation and an impeccable work ethic to bring the, the best of projects, best product to community imaginable. Green Yeti is also creating an interest of an ever-growing business model. Don't know much about Green Yeti. They're just words. Uh, Frey is our lead solidity developer. Frey has created and worked on many projects for different teams, specifically working in the DeFi and decentralized space. Frey is a top-notch developer who enjoys learning more specialization and continues growing his skills within the, sp the space. Uh, Frey has two master's degree and a high level, uh, high level tech and is a high level tech professional. Frey is integral part of the team and consistently advising on how to better projects for all investors and users free uh, Frey enjoys using his free time with his family and friends and lives in a free and fulfilling lifestyle while he continues to innovate and expand his skill set once again words all these are words um could be true could not be true do i think they're true i do because i have personally interacted with shiblord and with Frey. green yeti i haven't but Two out of three is not bad. Um, but once again, don't trust them because I do. Trust them because you talk to them, you interact with them, and then make that decision. Disclosures. Crypto is volatile. Yes, it is. It can go up and down at any given moment. 
Uh, Bigfoot Finance staff can't guarantee the investment will always be positive. How hard we work to keep the price stability. How hard we work to keep the price. Oh, regardless of how hard we work. Never invest more money than you're willing to lose. Uh, Bigfoot Finance is not an invest is an investment, and any staff associated is not responsible for any losses created by investors. Honestly, I don't think I see many disclosures like this in white papers. You know, protect yourself, but is it is it really? I don't know, but it's pretty cool that they're in there. I'll give them that, and that is an awesome Bigfoot. If anybody does want to go hunt a real Bigfoot, let me know. I haven't got any responses yet. And that book for Bigfoot was made by Wax, who is also in the Discord. So go over there and tell me like the Bigfoot if you do. If you don't, tell me don't like it. Um, I I think it's a pretty cool Bigfoot though. Okay, so well that's a white paper. Um, I guess we could take a look at the DAP real quick. This is a very, very pretty website. I do like it. And it says claim now, but maybe if you're already have one from the first 200 purchase now. No, there we go, nodes left. See, that's nice that they'll actually tell you there's this many nodes left at this price. Nothing staking what history. Pretty decent app. I like it. Minimal, but functional. Not the prettiest, but it definitely has a lot more functionality. And I don't, I, I do like this app. So real quick, I forgot to do this. This is what I wanted to show you before. Tokenomics, which I couldn't find, which we didn't see in the white paper, the actual breakdown of the use of the funds. So the uh, node sales, which is uh, distributed daily when the project launches, remember that. This is all distributed daily when the project is actually publicly launched. 40% um, is listing rewards. That's what I was talking about in uh, earlier in the video when I was um, questioning the uh, the marketplace and how that's pay, how that's benefiting people. Um, so it shows that 40% of lists and rewards. I wanna get that cleared up exactly what that is. If you know in the comments, let me know. 20% uh, is development expansion, 10% uh, investment in other Web3 projects, 10% staking rewards, 10% team, 10% liquidity as needed. Transaction fees, 40% staking rewards again. It looks like they're all the same. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, it's not. So instead of staking rewards, it's going to be 10% to the node holders. So no staking rewards. And the transaction fees, everything else is the same. Future revenue royalties from the sale of uh, Bigfoot NFTs, 40%. Okay, so this is where staking is going to get a big chunk. It's going 40% of that. Development, 20%. Investments in other projects, 10 uh, Node holders are getting 10 Teams getting 10 Liquidity is getting 10 then the BGFT distribution. So 50% is going to go to the node holders. It's going to be 5% of the distribution of the BGFT for 10 years. This is, once again, the 10-year plan is, I'm loving it. It's like McDonald's. I'm loving it. But I don't love McDonald's. 13% uh, of the listing, sorry, that was a bad joke. Listing rewards, well, truth though. Um, six and a half percent for two years is going to the listing rewards. Which once again, I want to find out exactly what that is. Uh, fifteen percent is going to staking rewards. One point five percent for ten years. So ten percent investments to other projects. Ten percent team. Two percent liquidity is needed. So uh, it looks like the uh, listing rewards aren't going to be. 10 years long for income, just gonna be two years, but 
anything with the actual specific project itself is looking at 10 years. So once again, 10 year plan on this is, I love that idea that it is actually set to be 10 years. I hope this tokenomics didn't change because I do like that a lot and I wish I was in the white paper. So, okay, with that, we'll cut it, we'll call it a night. Okay, everybody, so that was the white paper for Bigfoot. Um, what do I like about it? So I do like that the uh, they are going to steer away from Ponzi economics. I do like that they are going to be multi-chain NFT marketplace. Um, I do like, yeah, I like a lot of stuff about them. Um, but those two are big. And then also the fact that your rewards are gonna be in various different tokens is I think a key, key thing. So I like that a lot as well. What I don't like, it's, so I don't like the price of the nodes, uh, but that's my fault, not theirs. I think it's a very smart uh, project to create this 10-year plan. Oh, I also really like that 10-year plan. Um, at least what I know of it so far. And they, they gave a pretty decent amount of information on it. Um, I don't like that the tokenomics weren't in the white paper, that thing I showed you at the end. And uh, I, I don't like how the rewards itself aren't given yet. And they, I mean, I understand they kind of can't because they don't know exactly how much they're going to have until the pre-sale's over. So, um, and I do like they didn't promise anything though. That's a... Uh, other than it is going to be some sort of yield every day, you're going to get something with the LEC NFT nodes. Um, I probably would like to see a little more staking information, but that's also probably something they're still working on and trying to figure out, or maybe just keeping it under wraps for now, price wise, or like percentage wise. I mean, um, and I, I, I don't like that they, uh, struggling a little bit here to find out what I don't like. Um, am I gonna buy one? If I, if I can, once again, the price is gonna be high. They're sitting at about 300, they're sitting at $300 right now. And who knows how quickly that's going to go up on pre-sale launches again. But they did say in the Discord there will be a one to two day notice. So that's nice that they're given a decent notice. But um, I don't like they're on Ethereum. But they are moving to multi-chain. So that is good. Um, I do plan on getting in somehow. Uh, if I can't get an NFT, I'm definitely going to be getting the... BGFT and staking it. And um, hopefully, hopefully I can get good enough to sell some NFTs on there too. Um, other than that, that's my thoughts. That's my decision, my situation. You need to make up yours. Let me know below what you're going to do, if you know yet. If you don't, definitely continue to research it. Um, if you want. Once again, this is all to you. I'm just giving you the information. So have a good day, everybody.